This video will guide you through the unpacking, assembly and installation of the High Control Shield Light Silo Protection System. We recommend that users print out a copy of the full manual for their reference, as this provides in-depth information. Please follow the link in the video description to download this. Carefully open the box. Inside you will find the Quick Start Guide on the top which you will need to refer to for wiring. Put this to one side, then remove the display panel and set it aside. Remove the packaging. Then undo the knobs holding the mounting flange in place. Put these aside and remove the flange and take the gasket off. Remove the PRV weather cover and the display panel weather cover from the box and put them both aside. Next, remove the final items of packaging and finally remove the Shield Light PRV unit. Note that the unit comes pre wired with the pressure sensor, vibrating high level switch, and the PRV test mechanism already connected. Carefully move the mounting flange and Shield Light PRV to the top of the silo. Take note of the positioning information in the manual to ensure correct system placement. It should not be too close to the edge of the silo or in the path of the fill point. The ideal positioning is to locate it near the air filter unit, orientated so the PRV control box is easily accessible. The mounting flange will be welded to the silo top like so, with the foam gasket on top. Before fitting the PRV, turn it upside down and unclip the cable ties to free the HLA probe. Feed the HLA probe into the silo through the mounting flange hole. Now, mount the PRV in place. Make sure the control box is easily accessible. We provide all the necessary bolts with the system. Before wiring the PRV, mount the display panel and its weather shield near the fill point. These use the same locating holes, so the panel can be attached through the weather shield when the cover is off. The mounting screws are not supplied. Install the normally closed butterfly valve at the fill point and connect the airline. This completes the mechanical assembly and we can now move on to wiring the system. The pressure sensor, level switch and PRV lift mechanism are pre-wired to simplify installation. However, connecting the silo top control box and the display panel at the fill point is still necessary. This connection requires a four-core screened cable from the top of the silo to the bottom. Start by removing the cover of the control box on the PRV. We recommend putting the front face on top of the box to avoid damaging the wire for the local PRV lift inspection and test button. The wiring to connect the silo top PRV control box and the display box at the fill point is the same at both ends, as we will now demonstrate. Once again, remove the front cover of the display panel. Insert the cable through the larger gland on the control box on the PRV. Here you will be wiring to the supply and comms terminal block TB11, located on the bottom left of the circuit board. On the fill point display panel, insert the cable through the second gland. Here you will wire into the supply and comms terminal block TB8, located on the bottom right of the circuit board. Wire the terminals at both ends as follows. Wire 1 goes to the terminal for plus 24 volts. Wire 2 goes to the terminal for 0 volts. Wire 3, which is serial communications, goes to the terminal for RS485A. Wire 4 goes to the terminal for RS485B. Finally, the screen wire goes to terminal 5. This completes the connection between the display panel and the control box. Shield light will control the activation of a connected silo filter unit. Air vent filter units and dust collectors come in different forms 
but will be either 24 volts DC or 110 or 230 volts AC powered. To connect a DC powered unit, wire it directly through the spare gland on the silo top control box into the filter terminal block TB3, located on the left of the circuit board, as shown. Setting the filter to sequence automatically on power up will switch the filter on and off. Alternatively, if the power supply for the filter is 110 to 240 volts AC, it will require the high control filter control unit, part number SPS-AC filter control, as shown here. Please note that this is a separate item, not included with shield light. This completes the silo top wiring. Replace the front of the control box. Please note that shield light requires a pneumatic air supply to operate the PRV lift test mechanism and the pressure sensor clean and test function. Using the air supply from the filter or dust collector unit also means the system demonstrates that the air supply to the filter is operational during delivery. Connect the air supply to the regulator on the PRV using a 6mm standard push fit airline connection. We will now wire the control and positioning feedback connection inlet valve. To wire up the fill valve, we recommend using a 6 core cable fed from the display panel through the other large gland to the inlet valve. This will enable the open-close feedback and solenoid wiring to be done all in one cable. First, make the connections in the shield light display panel. Wires 1 to 6 connect in sequence as follows. First, to TB1 terminals 1 and 2, then to TB2 terminals 1 and 2 and finally to TB5 terminals 1 and 2. Remove the lid on the valve switch box and wire as follows. Wire 1 into terminal 1, wire 2 into terminal 2, wire 3 into terminal 4, wire 4 into terminal 5, wire 5 into terminal 7 and wire 6 into terminal 8. Then, using a two core cable, connect terminal 7 and 8 to the valve solenoid, as shown. The solenoid can be wired either way round, as it's not polarity sensitive. As the valve opens and closes, you can see that the micro switches are opened and closed by the cam positions. This action provides the valve status feedback to the system. The wiring for the inlet valve is now complete. Replace the lid. Isolate the mains power supply before wiring takes place. Now connect the display panel to the fused main supply observing all normal safety precautions. Next, connect the mains power cable through the right-hand gland underneath the power block. Note that ACL Live and ACN Neutral are marked clearly on the power block. Connect these and connect the earth to TB3. This completes the wiring of the display panel. Reattach the panel face. Turn on the air supply. The gauge on the PRV should go up to 6 bar or 87 psi. Please note that this is a good time to check for leaks. We are now ready to test that the installation has been successful. Switch on the mains power for the system. If the wiring is correct, you will see the ready screen illuminate on the panel display screen. This should read SPS Shield Light, GLT to start. To confirm all wiring is correct and the system is operating correctly, run a ground level test by turning the GLT key. The test should pass and open the inlet valve. This confirms that the installation has been successful. Return to the silo top. Test the PRV inspection mechanism with the yellow local test button. 
Once this has been confirmed as operating correctly, place the weather shield onto the PRV. On each of the three fixing bolts, use a rubber washer, then a metal washer, then the quick release knob. Congratulations! You have now successfully installed your Shield Light Silo Protection System.